Okay. We are going to get a bunch of stuff today. So we're going to go first to the Christmas tree store. And then I'm going to my parents to check on them and see what's up with them. And can't stay too long because then I have to go to the grocery store. So I am going to put you get there. OK, so I'll see you at the Christmas store when we get there. Okay, so here we are at the Shepherd's Way Tree Center over here in, it's called the Village now, it used to be called Cameron Village, but that's where we are, okay, along with everyone else. <laughs> Seems like it is uh, the day to pick up your tree. It kind of makes sense, really. All right, so here we go. Oh, Shepherd's Way. That's where we are today. Little, um, like the beautiful berries. They've got, um, oh, this, now this is not something that I would necessarily hang, but it's interesting in its shape, like a Christmas tree shaped wreath. This is what I love. The boxwood is what I usually get. So we'll probably get that for us and then we'll get something with, oh, maybe a mix for my folks okay we usually get a giant wreath for the garage so the giant wreath is actually a little bit less we have to find the smallest tree <laughs> because the smallest tree is what looks best in the corner where we put our tree so I might have to go outside because these are all giant trees. Okay, so remember I'm 5'1". This is going to be like 6 feet-ish. So that's a max. Like 6 feet is really the max. We cannot go any higher than that. And the tree itself has a very nice um, spacing where the, cause I have lots of long sort of big ornaments, but I also have heavy ornaments and this is not very sturdy. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep looking. <laughs> oh gosh, these rods are gonna kill me, honestly. All right, let's look up here. Let's go back in here and see what we can find inside the tent. Okay. Okay, I think I found it. It was one that I had showed you earlier. It's this one right here. There's the top. It's gonna have to be cut at the bottom, but there's plenty of room. It's As soon as I like turned this recording off, the chainsaw stopped. And as soon as I turned it on, the chainsaw started back up. It's like a ringing phone. <laughs> but anyway, this is nice and sturdy. So you can see. Okay, so what we ended up getting was the tree and this this little sweet wee wreath for the kitchen door and then this gigantic wreath for the over the garage. And this is the people these are the ladies from Shepherd's Way. Hi. Hi. 
oh. one over here saying hello. <laughs> so we got all those three things for how much? 156. So 156 for three beautiful decorations that are from North Carolina, yes. right? North Carolina products so, right here. Tell okay, me again what so your name is. I'm Katie. This is Katie. Katie is a member of the family that um, farms these trees. That's right. And so she is going to help me with this tree that we picked. Oh, very nice. Yes. Beautiful. I was telling them that it has to be especially right for ornaments. Do you hear that a lot? Yes. Definitely. And we are the same way. My mom and I both love having tons of ornaments on our trees. So we always look for the ones that have the nice big gaps. <laughs> are there any tips or tricks you would give to viewers about picking a tree? Picking a tree, I think you should definitely always buy direct from a farmer. You're going to have the freshest trees that way. Um, and water your trees every day. Every That's day. Every day. Can you add water to existing water? Or do you yes, need to definitely. It? You okay. can just, just you know, they make these really cool things that you can kind of stick into your tree. I think you can find them on Amazon or at Lowe's or something. Or you can water it from above, but oh, nice. I just crawl under my tree every day. With a, with a, like, <laughs> with like a cup. and Like a coffee cup. Water. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, that's a great Sure, idea. yes. So we're going to have and Preston then take this we're gonna have... to the Yeah, she's awesome. already paid you for it. Thank you. Today? I don't like a big dummy. Right, <laughs> Thank you so time. much. Thank you so much. What'd you say, honey? Show me how much I need to cut. Um, if you can cut about six inches, that would be great. And what are you almost? Is that sure? You sure you want that much off? Okay, so it's a lot. Let me see. That is a lot, but it's a really tall tree. It is. So it's all personal preference. Just giving you what it'll look like. So let's it'll be cut it. So there. I'm gonna take everything from here. I'm just gonna cut this off. Yeah. And I'm probably gonna have to cut up to here down too. You put it on top. So okay, that's yeah, that's fine. actually fine. Mm -hmm. loaded up. We're just going to put the hour wreath in. Is that far enough in? Um, yeah, I think that'll be perfect. Alrighty. That's going to be our wreath. The groceries will have to go in the front. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is for um, mom and dad. So that'll go in their kitchen. Thank you so much. No I really feel it smells good in there now. <laughs> you too. Merry Christmas. Oh, sorry. Honey. Okay. The car smells great. And um, listen, all the information for Shepherd's Way is not sponsored or anything. This is just a great family farm that Eric and I have bought from for ever since, I think since we've been married. Um, and they have locations all over um, Raleigh. And if you live in Raleigh or in the Triangle and near around about this area, <laughs> I would really come to this location, not this location, but to this farm because they are local and you know where your trees are coming from. There was one year that I didn't buy from here and that I just went to the closest stand to our house and y'all, I didn't know where these trees had come from. It almost looked like it was a, like a fraternity fundraiser or something because there were a bunch of kids there. They didn't have any way to help me with the, um, you know, chopping the end off to get it right. Um, they just kind of like took my money and threw the tree in the car and it was very weird, um, but it was super close. It was like they just set up there and the tree was dry and dead within 10 days and literally Almost on Christmas Day, we almost had to like get rid of the tree because it was so like dull and clearly dead and I, it was a mess. So I was like, never again, always go to Shepherd's Way Farms. Um, they also do melons, not melons, pumpkins and other things for holidays. They think they even do like an Easter tent. Um, so they're really a great local farm 
find the farm that's local to you and shop that. <clears throat> but I'll put their information below so you can um, find out more about Shepherd's Way Farms. The smell of the... Of the pine, of the evergreen. I'm not sure if it's pine or what kind of tree it is. Okay. Right, so I am going to show you what it looks like in a minute after I say hello to my folks. Okay, there is the wreath on the door. And it looks it looks perfect, but isn't oh, it's pretty in that light, isn't it? Okay, but just got home from work, and I have to show you what my amazing husband, who is retired on Mondays and Fridays, he put the Christmas light out, the spotlight, and he hung the Christmas wreath. And hopefully when we go inside, uh, the Christmas tree will be there. But, I mean, there's the spotlight. I don't know if you can see it right there. Right there in the grass. I, I literally drove in the driveway and I was like squealing in the car because it's done and I don't have to do it. He did it. That's the secret. I just finished putting the lights and the Santa on it. And then I'm gonna be going going out for the ornaments. Eric is also putting the bells on the door. So I think this tree looks amazing. This was the tree from Shepherd's Way Farm that we picked up yesterday. Well, yeah, that we picked up yesterday. And they cut about a foot and a half off the trunk, but look how perfect. It is just perfect. The um, lights are, the lights are, I thought for a second the lights were twinkling, but maybe I'm just moving the camera. Are the lights twinkling? That's interesting. I have the box somewhere from a few years ago. I never noticed that they twinkled before. Oh, they are twinkling. From this angle, it doesn't look like they're twinkling, but when I look at the camera, it looks like they're twinkling. That is the weirdest thing. Anyway, I normally don't buy lights that twinkle. I just buy super simple white lights, but it looks like I'm not moving. It looks like they're twinkling. But when I look with my eyes, they're not, oh, y'all, I swear. Okay, so Eric has put the jingle bells. These are old, uh, old fashioned antique um, sleigh bells. Those are the bells that used to go on the horse and buggy sleigh. 
And my mom picked them up at an antique store and hung them on her doors forever. And that's how I always knew my dad was home during the Christmas season. He would come through the door and the bells would go. And uh, so now, of course, I had to have have them on our back door. So that is where the sleigh bells go every year. And so I'm going to get to hanging the ornaments. Battery just died there for a second. Sorry. So I'm going to get to hanging the ornaments. of these amazing vintage ornaments from my grandmother going back to the I think the 30s I think the 30s or maybe the 40s that really close so you can see that's all sequins that have been pinned in by hand isn't that amazing Let's see if that picture is any good there's another one over here all sequined and pinned in by hand. That is one, as I said, from my grandmother. The little pearls are bigger on that one. Then we have these Danish paper stars. I usually get Danish paper ornaments every year. There's a big one up here. It's like three dimensional, super cool. And then there's one more from my grandmother. Oh, here we go. There's, I mean, if that doesn't scream 1940s, I'm not really sure what does. It is the most right here. Come on, camera. Let me come back just a little bit. There we go. Maybe. Okay, there we go. It is the most psychedelic. Wizard of Oz kind of crazy ornament that I have always loved. And it's funny because everyone else in the family thinks it's like this horrible monstrosity, but I have always loved it. Each one of these layers, this is a piece of um, sequin tin there's a little plastic three-pronged doodle. And this thing that's going straight in is a pin. It's all layered in pins. Isn't that amazing? And then at the top, a hand-tied fe a feather. Jeez, I've had the kind of language, language garbage day. Anyway, a hand-tied ribbon at the top. All of it's hand done, and I think, as I said, from the 30s. So those are three of my special ornaments. This one I love the most because it is just the most, like, again, with Wizard of Oz reference, these just look like Dorothy's ruby shoes, the ruby slippers. I don't know if I can get this camera to focus on all the detail. Let me try here. Let's see. I'll come out and I'll try and zoom in so you can see. That's pretty good. All those little sequins. 
tied together with a beautiful green ribbon. So remember, this is the beautiful tree that we got, the Shepherd's Way Farm tree from the tent to the family room. And it will be here in our lives for a few weeks. And so in the dining room, we have this wooden dough tray with fresh evergreen bow, bows, bows, stuff that I snipped off the bottom of the Christmas tree, <laughs> is here filling the dough tray. We, I use this because the evergreen that we have here um, in Central North Carolina is more pine with like a long pine um, needles and not these beautiful short needles. So this is why I use this type of evergreen here. And then these are from Target. This is the ever, ever present German, Danish, Nordic uh, Christmas. Um, there's a name for it. I'll put it on the screen <laughs> right here. <laughs> um, and then this is another German um, Christmas tradition. This is the German feather tree. You almost can't afford these anymore. What you get are the plastic or paper um, it is versions. Just a work of art that I purchased. It was one of my first Christmas purchases when we first got married back in the mid 1990s. And um, there was a Christmas shop two doors down from the second job that I had. <laughs> I had a job, a second job, job working in a retail store and two doors down there was a Christmas store and this precious thing was in there and I put it on layaway. All of y'all folks over a certain age will know what layaway was. I put it on layaway because I couldn't afford it then and I probably wouldn't be able to afford it now. These are very, very special trees. They are hella expensive. This is only about 14 inches from the, this block all the way up to here. Very small, very delicate, you can see, but it is the German craftsmanship is present throughout this amazing example of a German feather tree. So that is every year we have that. And so that is our, that is our Christmas decorations along with our Christmas tree, which is in the dark of the room. I'm shooting this <laughs> in the morning because I ran out of batteries and ran out of time and fell asleep last night. <laughs> so okay, y'all, that is our Christmas decorations for 2021. And thank you for watching.